Pedro Mocklin sat down with us today. He told us he had no idea he was interacting with an off duty officer. He also shared with us what he says moments happened moments before officers turned on their body camera video. Pedro Mocklin says he was dropping off a client for Orange Grove when a family dog got loose. It was a mistake. It ain't that serious. Lachlan says he chased the dog up the street. That's when he and off-duty officer Andrew Carter exchanged words. Lachlan says Carter told him to get off his property. He said, if you step foot on my property, I got something for you. Then I said, I got something for you too. Lachlan admits he had a gun in the car, but says that this was an empty threat and a reaction to Carter. He says he never expected this just moments later. Don't make me come in that house. I will come in that house. I will come in that house. Get out of here now. Do it now. Do it now. You think I'm going to argue with you? I'm going to tase your According to Lachlan, at least seven officers responded, questioning him, witnesses, and Carter. KD initially was, of course, shaken, but after I actually saw the video, he was comforting me. The family says East Ridge police officers were overly aggressive. I thought I was going to tell you this dumb I was about to if he'd, if he'd have taken one more step in the house. One moment in the video, you see a 22-year-old actually speaking softly and, and speaking to the officer who was cursing him and screaming at him. Why are you yelling at me? He's the one de-escalating the situation. You know, just because you're an off-duty police officer doesn't give you the right to threaten people with a firearm. We went to Officer Carter's home today to ask him about Lachlan's accusations. Can y'all leave, please? He told us he was not allowed to comment, and as we were packing up, a uniformed East Ridge officer showed up. Another controversial interaction with the East Ridge Police Department. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rose. The Breeding Majority breaks down body camera video of the incident that began after a family dog got loose. Sabrina. Josh and Kim, the attorney for the man facing charges from this interaction, provided us with the body camera video and says East Ridge Police's response was uncalled for. Don't make me come in that house. I will come in that house. I will come in that house. Get out of here now. Do it now. Do it now. You think I'm going to argue with you? I'm going to tase your What's playing out on your screen now? The first 12 seconds of this East Ridge police interaction captured on body camera video. I didn't do nothing. All I, um, all I came here to do was to talk to you. Now, let me, oh, yeah. been Don't tell me how to run my shift. I'll have as many officers here as I want. Do you understand what I'm saying? The video shows Kadron Lachlan sitting on the front steps of a home as East Ridge police officer Roy Sacker questions him. So you threatening all 50 officers? No, he threatened me. This police report says Kadron Lachlan worked for Orange Grove and was dropping off a client at a home when the family dog got loose. And he accidentally let our dog out. That's all that happened. According to that report, Lachlan tried to help the family chase down the dog and ended up on off-duty police officer Andrew Carter's property. He says you threatened him first. Is that an incorrect statement? It is. The report says Lachlan threatened Carter with a weapon that police found in Lachlan's car. But body camera video shows Lachlan explaining Carter threatened him first. So I've got a he said, she said. Granted, he's an officer, but I have to look at it from that side. The video shows officers asking Carter which charge he thinks fits what happened here. I'm asking you what you want to do with it. I'll do whatever, whatever, whatever you want done. You're the Vic. Um, I'd like to prosecute for ag assault. Police ultimately arrested Lachlan. Okay. And yeah, Lachlan was later fired from Orange Grove and is now facing aggravated assault charges. But his attorney tells us what happened here was an excessive reaction, and he wants to see the DA's office drop this case.